Welcome to SMSUV Esports. This is Krav Maga joined here by Welcome Soul Six. Welcome Soul Six, and we are here for SMSU Rocket League versus the Competitive Gaming Club, uh, University Universe. Illinois Chicago. Yep. So just getting into game here. Had a little bit of delay with the stream and a little bit of miscommunication between the teams, but we do have a match for you tonight at least. You know, best of five, so we do mm -hmm. get to see. At least some Rocket League play tonight. Yeah, instead of, uh, I'm, I'm excited for tonight. Uh, we're coming off last week with a win. Currently a shot on goal. Goal is wide open. There's uh, a demo. Yeah, a little, a little too high. They're not quite going to be a shot on goal, but was looking like it was centered up for somebody from SMSU if they wanted it. But Sean not Ooh. connecting on that second hit there. Roner keeping it out. And we do have over. a substitution in here for SMSU this week. Um, Dill is out this week, and RevWoof, their sub, is in. So I'll be interested to see how RevWoof plays with this team. You know, we were talking about last week, and obviously the previous week before that. Uh, SMSU looked like they were having a, you know, little bit of issues with them with their chemistry and rotation. So mm -hmm. I'll have to see if maybe RevWoof is a little yeah. bit better of a fit for that, or. They just want to get him some, you know, time in, time playing. Um, so this will be his first collegiate game of Rocket League, which is can be a uh, a little, little nerve wracking at times. No, it, it, I think it will be very fun to uh, watch uh, how Rev Wolf uh, actually plays competitively uh, compared to uh, Dill and how he fits with the team. So mm -hmm. I feel like we have a, a really fun match ahead of us uh, after the long wait. Yeah, not a whole lot being found by either of these teams so far. Kind of both of them just feeling themselves out. Yep. Trying to see what they can get done. Looks like there's a setup right now, and Sean going up for it, but it's blocked by Skate. A little bit of a double commit there from SMSU, both Rev and Sean going for the ball. And Ooh, and there's a first goal. A little bit there. And Red Panda sets it up real nice for uh, Loyan to come in on top and just knock it right in. Looks yeah. like Rev Wolf was in goal, but kind of overshot. Yeah, to Rev side not a looking bit. like he quite had the read of what they were doing there. Mm -hmm. uh, Might have been a little faked out by the by the pass plays. You know, those aren't something you see yep. as much unless you're really, really high up there in the ranks. So hitting it right off the wall, Rev Wolf going straight out. And get a good pass, pass to Sean, Sean, but Sean not going to be able to get it to connect. Almost oh, shot on goal, a lot nice more block. Pressure. Ooh, and Loyan brings it back once more. He had the open opportunity. There was a hole in the defense there. Another pass off the post by Red Panda. Loyan coming in. Now this is interesting to see is right now all three of the CGC players are coming to the other side. Yep, they're definitely keeping it over in the SMSU third. Keep a lot more pressure now that they've felt SMSU out a little bit, uh -huh. you know, after that first two minutes. Um, and with 2.30 left on the clock, SMSU's gonna have to get oh. a lot of aggression here. And a good measured hit there coming out from CGC, but yeah. not gonna connect. Yeah, they had that demo with Roner right in the goal, so that left the goal kind of wide open. But uh, they were unable to cap capitalize on that opportunity. Remember, there. Sean, he didn't take that from Roner there. Roner not having any boost to actually follow up with it. A little bit of hesitation coming out from SMSU. Looks like Roner went for a demo there. I was going to hit that into the corner, but it's going to get hit back out of the corner by C CGC. But Roner's they don't have just a dribble there it. to capitalize. There it, it. is. Roner, will Roner get just walks it in. Great flick over the CGC defender into the upper third, upper nine, left upper 90 of the goal. Well, actually more in the middle of the goal. Two guys went to block <laughs> it, but man, it was just not enough. It's a beautiful play there by Roner. Rev not quite having the greatest kickoff there. But trying to Sean, yeah. trying to be competitive as well as he can and be into the mid and Rev will get that 50. Gonna be looking to get that boost, but he doesn't actually get it. Now Rev boost list trying to get back, rotate back for his teammate. Runner's gonna Runner get a hit there, back. but not gonna have the recovery Boy's to met. follow it up. Sean's gonna come get it now, bleeding back over to Orange side. Rev looking for the setup. Maybe Sean comes and gets it. No, Runner's up next. Runner's gonna Ooh, look and he's for gonna go the double. The there it is. is. 
Now that looks like it was tapped in a little by Orange Team, but I guess we can yeah, see. Yeah, I don't think that Runner quite had the speed here to get it. He didn't get the hit down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So right there, Loyan hit it into the goal. Yeah. Yep. And that's just one of those situational things where you don't want to. Uh, um, Loyan should have rotated out as yep. of rotating into the in, goal. He should have swung wide, and yep. then that eliminates that possibility. Rev doing a, a flip. <laughs> And Roner, now we're going all aggressive. It is equalized here by SMSU and CGC, so. Yep, with a minute gonna left. It's going to be the decider. Sean shattering back here. Going to get a nice. challenge there, yep. but. Rev He's keeping it out. Loyan bringing it back over. Skate trying to go for the top, but doesn't get the angle. Rev now challenging Panna. Roner goes up for it. Loyan as well. Man, it is, it is getting real tight. It looks like there's a little bit of a flustered, some flustered play coming out from both the teams. And that looks like it's a goal by Skate there. It'll be an easy Let's goal here. Let's see what happened here. Comes off, and it looks like Sean just didn't get the angle. Yeah, right. Sean he, just maybe not having the best read on that ball. Uh -huh. Decides to try and go for a challenge when... Really needs to shadow into the defense. Probably thinks that he can beat him there, um, but just just misjudged a little bit. Yep, yep. 30 seconds left in the round. Sean able to try to get it. it doesn't have any boost to actually keep pressure here. I have to leave it to oh, Rev. Rev will get it hit, but it will go Ryan. straight Roner into one of back. the CGC defenders. Sean looks like they're going all out. All Orange is trying to do is just kind of keep that ball away. He's Roner getting parallel no. there, and that's going to be yeah, a that's the, extra that's security be goal there for CGC to win this first game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I think that kind of concludes the round, uh, at least uh, for the first round, given there's only one second on the clock. I can't imagine they do. <laughs> no, it's, it's not really sure. possible. The countdown doesn't start until the ball gets hit initially. Oh, got you. Yep. With that. There you go. Going to be CGC taking the first game in the best of five. Um, no, that was a good, that was a, a pretty good round. Um, I want to see maybe a little more communication from SMSU. Uh, maybe some, maybe a little more patience on defense. I don't know. Yeah. And it could, it could be, I'm not sure um, where RevWolf sits in the rankings with SMSU in terms of competitive rank. Mm -hmm. um, just from what I'm seeing. Seems like some of these reads are a little bit maybe out of his purview quite yet. Mm -hmm. um, I know that he's newer to the team, so they're working with him. They're getting him trained up. Um, but there's a lot to learn when you come into competitive Rocket League. It's, it, yeah, exactly. That communication aspect, that knowing when you need to go is is very difficult, as we talked about last week um, with some of the rotations. So CFS Miss, you can get a better feeling for that. It seems like uh, Roner is possibly feeling like he needs to play really fast, play really hard. Uh -huh. um, which could be throwing off Sean. Um, but we'll have to see how they can recover in the second game. Rev have a good kickoff there. Spills over into Orange. Roner keeping it in Orange. Panda there to come back. It's going to be met by Rev again. He's going to kick it into the Orange corner, but Rev not going to keep possession of it quite yet. And Sean throwing it up. Roner looking to get a bounce off. Sean looking to contest that. CGC just more than happy to Open let goal SMSU right now, but hit Roner's these coming back. hits into the corner that don't really get them anything and just throw away possession. Um, Roner has a pretty good long shot. Oh, if any blue comes in right now. Rev contesting it still. Roner keeping it on the orange side. He's going to go over to Sean, but Sean's not going to get to connect with it. No, but he got the demo. Maybe that's what he was doing. There's another demo. Probably evening things up. We're having to play defense here. Gets a good nice clear off of the back walk. wall. He's going to still spill over into CGC. Now Sean needs to try and keep with that, but he's not there close enough, so possession will go over to CGC and... They just get to have the freedom to just kind of do what they want here. Yeah, that was a that was a really close goal there. Uh, I don't exactly know what was uh, SMSU was doing on that, but ooh, on with a nice good save there. Save good reaction time. Yeah, that was a very nice save. 
And now goals open. Panda gonna miss it. Let's spell out to Sean, but Sean gonna try and be there possibly, but not fully committing to the hit. He's gonna get hit over him by Skate. Skate now playing it. Trying to play. Met by Rev. The dribble there. Rev's trying to get a hit here, but out. Broner gonna have to take Ooh, it away from him. Ooh, there's a miss. Sean bringing it back over. Now Rev keeping it away. Rohner shooting it, going back over. Demo on field, goals currently open on Rohner blue side. Is last defender. The demo does come out there from Papa on to Rev, but Rohner will be there to save it. Spilling into the mid, but SMSU giving over possession once again over to CGC and Sean getting good clear there off the back wall. I'm going to try and play it off of Kami, but I'm going to get him over it, get a little pinch with his teammate, and push it back over, and Rohner playing it off of the back wall. Doesn't get quite the touch he's wanting to get there. Mm -hmm. Let's rotate back to gold. Doesn't have any boost, so he has to rely on Rev, but Rev... Ooh, that was a very good contested save there by Rohner. Now Rohner bringing it over. Looking really like he was trying, trying to get yeah. the flip reset there, but I don't think he got his, the bottom of his car to actually connect with the ball. Had he gotten that, I think it would have been a goal, but very hard to tell. Yeah, this is this is really coming down to just the small things now in this round. After the the first round between this two these two teams, um, it, I think now that they know the play styles of each, it, it is it is going to be quite a battle of attrition of just who is going to get the goal. Rohner and here again with very low boost. Someone's going to have to slip slip up. Oh. Getting a little bit of a takeaway here. Yep, open goal currently if anyone can get a good touch. Rohner shoots it. Ooh, so nearly there. will be there to defend. Sean going to be here on the back foot, third man for his team. He's going to get a hit into the corner, but it's going to spill out into the mid, and it's going to be up to Rev to block it. Rev gets a nice block there. He's followed by Rohner. Rohner brings it back over to the orange side, but is met by Panda. Panda brings it back over to the blue. Sean looking to bring it back over to orange, maybe dribble it in. And looking like Rohner was positioning there so that Sean could get it to him, but I'm not sure. It's two demos yet again. If Sean needed the boost there. Was, Rohner was in a little bit of an awkward spot for Sean to get him that pass. They gotta be careful. All orange is in gold, but now 30 seconds left, no scores yeah. on the board yet. Yeah, this has been a very, very good, um, uh, what you yeah, call Some it? good Round. defense just, by both of the teams. fantastic play by both Shania teams. Sean try and get there to contest it, but doesn't quite get the powerful hit. He's looking to get there. Runner having to, or actually Rev Wolf having to go up against Panda there. Runner's gonna Runner be there as the third man there to get if, the good contest. Yep. He'll probably be He's looking bring for it, a pass bring to his over team. over the middle. It looks like this may go into overtime here for the round. First overtime of the night, it looks like. Absolutely, we'll All be going right. into overtime here for game two, SMSU versus Competitive Gaming Club. Yep, welcome to uh, Sudden Death. Uh, rules for overtime is just whoever makes the first goal uh, will win the round. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll see how long we are here for. Uh, I give could, it how could, could be 30 <laughs> seconds, could be five minutes. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Given how well both these teams are playing, um, it's gonna it's gonna come down to just the one slip up on offense or defense. Yeah. Oh, right. big bump coming out there just from Scoyland on to Rohner. Ooh. Sean having a whiff there. It's in goal. Putting into a very there dangerous position, and Papa Panda will score that for CGC for game three right, in the overtime. So Rohner goes here, but it's blocked by Skate. Rev wasn't in the right position, so maybe Yeah, Rev was a little too pushed up there. Um, not quite the hit that Rohner was probably looking to get, but um, that, that, was, that is just sometimes how things play out. Yep. That was a that was a very good match. Uh, I, I would say for SMSU that was better than their very first round. Uh, so let's see if they yeah, can... I think SMSU did a lot better job of having some offense there. Um, I'd like to see some more hits coming out from Sean and Rev, some more um, impactful clears. Sure. Um, and not giving over that uh, 
you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of times in Rocket League where you feel like you need to hit the ball just because you feel like you need to hit the ball. But and Careful. by doing that, you give over possession. Uh -huh. And in competitive Rocket League, possession is the key. Oh, very hard pinch there coming out from Scoilin onto one of the SMSU members here. Yeah, that was a that was a be the that first was a very good goal. angle. Yeah. Rev just not quite getting high enough for, to get a good contest there, unfortunately. We'll be going one up with only 20 seconds down in this third game. Rev is going to need bring to bring find in. something. Sean keeping the back. Gets... Now Rev rotates to the back. All three orange cars sitting in goal right now. So this is very interesting uh, how orange kind of plays out is they just seem to when, when it's on blue side all three go out to blue when it's on orange all three stay back to orange it's like it's yeah like, they i don't know Ooh, it, it's kind Roner of getting the flip reset there but not managing to get the strong hit that he wants you going to be here on a contest with runners gonna be back to scoop this ball up Gonna get some more pressure here. Gonna try and get the second. It gets a good challenge there, but there's no third, no second or third man SMSU player there to Rev Wolf bringing it up. Take Rowling's advantage gonna of that challenge. Try to go for it, but Sean's gonna try to get it on open goal. Now it's very high, dangerous position. Not sure how much Ooh. boost Broner has here. Has enough to get the contest. This is a very scary situation now for uh, SMSU. Uh, will spill out into the orange third. Bringing it back up. Sean. Sean there to make a good contest, but. Rev also keeping it over. Roner got an angle, maybe. Now Rev shadowing back there, um, post. going to the front post when Sean is already at the front post, so. Should be leaving that. Should be going to the back post there to give some extra room for Sean. That could have been another situation where if that ball spills out in a weird way and Rev's, you know, coming back the wrong way towards the goal, um, it could end up being an own goal for us. Rev Wolf uh, backing a uh, uh, good shot on that. Another double commit from SMSU there between Sean and Rev Wolf. Yeah, it looks like there was some miscommunication there on who was going to go for the ball. I think Rev should have uh, been more responsible for that uh, rather than Sean since he had the better angle. That that first third, that first second and third man positioning sometimes can be a little, a little confusing uh -huh. when you're newer to competitive rocket league. And which uh, which one goes? And for there what? it is. <laughs> another uh, another, another pitch, goal. But this time on the other side of the goal. Yes. Yeah, so other side of the field. This is very nice to see. Is just a nice bounce in. A nice ground pinch there. Yep. From runner. So yeah, these these goals are very hard. Uh, now that they've been playing each other for about 15 minutes or so, the the teams know that they're not going to get goals easy. They're, they're, it's going to come down to those those tiny little plays that those kind of millimeter touches. Uh, trying to go up for a high contest there, but doesn't get up fast enough. Loyland gonna be there. Doesn't have enough boost to keep getting the hit. The Roner keeping Roner it out of goal. Will be there for the defense. And he's bringing it back over. Off a of panda there, trying to look to contest. Rev trying to get it in. And over to Sean, Sean bringing Sean it back over. Good center here, but Skate keeps it out of goal. Skate managed to get it over Roner there, and now Roner not quite back yet for his team. Good second hit there from Rev. We'll set up Sean for a good contest here, and. No runner. Has to get it over three members. Gets Ooh, it over there's, one. There and that's going to be the second goal for SMSU from yeah, Broner. There we go. So there it is again. Those those tiny little touches, right? Yeah, just that's, a little bit of the car, car position there. It's going to come down to those 1v1 tiny touches, and that's going to put um, SMSU up. So it's not over yet. Yep, with a minute left here. SMSU up one. Bit of an awkward positioning there for Rev. Mm -hmm. Sean, Sean gonna be back looking up to play Rev. off of him, but Rev gonna hit it into the corner. 
Uh, I don't exactly know what Orange was doing there. Trying to contest, but it looks like it just made a better. Oh, they're gonna get a good hit in there, but not gonna quite go where he wants it to. Skate gonna get it over one of SMSU players. Runner's gonna be there in the corner. Ooh, Runner is still keeping it over. Ooh, and just like that, oh! almost. It was so very close. Oh, Skyland not giving it over to his teammate Panda there. A little bit of a misplay. And now there's a demo on field. So now it's down, now they were down two for a little split second there. Yeah, demo's only last for, I believe it is uh, five seconds. Five seconds, it feels like a lot less, but. It, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a time. <laughs> it's, it's a time. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, S a, it's, a, it's a length of seconds. SMSU's it's either 5 just, or 10. I don't remember. SMSU, all they have to do is just keep the ball. Just get it on the floor. Just get it on the floor. Just ground it. Just ground that ball. There you go. And SMSU will take the second game here to yeah. make the series 2-1. to one. No, this is... So, this is, good amount of fight left yep. in SMSU here. Yep. Down but not out. I, I, I like to see it. A lot of good, aggressive play coming out from Runner. Getting a lot of really... Good, useful touches for his team, controlling mm -hmm. the ball and not giving away possession. Something like to see a little bit more coming out from yep. Sean and Rev. Um, we did see in that last game there was a position where Sean was looking for the pass from Rev, yep. uh, in mid an infield pass from him, um, and Rev just hit it into the corner. Um, uh, it's just one of those situations in Rocket League where taking the less strong hit and not trying to do everything on your own yep. um, results in the better play. A little bit of a cut rotation there coming up from CGC. Sean trying to capitalize on it, but can't find it. Runner going back, looking for the defense. Yeah, they're gonna have Rev full boost. also following. Runner bringing it back over the corner, hoping to spill it back over into Orange. He's gonna give up possession over to CGC here though, and Panda will take it. Sean gonna looking to try contest. and get it over Sean. Does get a good 50 there. Gonna look for another hit, but Runner will beat him to it. Escape, but Panda kind of ruins that that hit a little bit, bringing it over to Sean, giving Rhett uh, a little bit Good of a look. there. He'll give Sean a contest there. Hits the 50. Now Sean, runner. Both going to back off here, a little little bit confused yeah, maybe yeah, by there what... Was, uh, there was some confusion there. It looked like on Orange on what they were going to do, and Rohner just kind of came in and was like, all right, if you guys aren't going to yeah, take that's, it, I will. That's, that's <laughs> another one of those situations where if there's, if it, there's confusion, it, uh -huh. whoever's faster gets it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on over there. Roner keeping it away from Blue. He's going Rohner up with Roner looking it. for the double tap here. That might be. Isn't going to quite find it into the goal. Gets a good bump there, but isn't managed to collect the boost. But a really powerful play there from Roner. Yeah, that was a that was a very good uh, Not touch quite and follow. It. There it is again. It's all contested. A little Four bit players of a on the cluster ball. here in the front post for SMSU. So yeah. they're going to break out, reset into the rotation. Yeah, I don't know if I like to see all, all three blue players on the ball there with just one orange player. Oh, that was a, a nice bit of angle a there by there. Red Wolf. A 50 goes his way as Skate tries to turn for it. Yeah, Skate and Panda was there. So it looks like Panda was looking to go back in rotation well, and Loyan maybe was supposed I to be there. I think what happened there is Skate cut back in for the rotation uh -huh. and Panda had already moved to front post because he thought it was his ball to go for. Yep. Skate cuts him off, Panda rotates out, he goes up on the back ball, yep. but then their third man isn't there to con contest it quite yet. Roner nice gonna get a good save. Roner. SMSU up one to zero here. Three minutes left in the game. Yeah, three minutes is still a lot of time. Absolutely. A lot can happen in three minutes. Game's not even halfway over yet. Sean in an Ooh, awkward position, yeah, but no members a... of CGC there to contest it. Yeah, Sean got really lucky there. He was in a he was in a bad position where he had to flip, but lucky no one in uh, CGC was Sean there. Sean with a good save there off the back wall. Roner bringing it back over to orange side. Rev looking to get another shot. It's contested at the front post there. 
Wait, what's going on? Wait, what happened there? Hold on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I think that CGC here, their rotation is absolutely crumbling under this pressure from SMSU. SMSU, even though they aren't getting wow. as many of good uh, good touches uh -huh. as some of these CGC members are getting, the rotations, their defensive rotations are really crisp and we're not seeing double commits from them as much. We're seeing them have the person who needs to go for the ball goes for the ball. Yep. And I'm seeing a lot of cutting, uh -huh. um, a lot of unnecessary cutting from CGC. And a double commit just like that one from Scoyland and Skate. I, w I will say uh, I w I'm very happy to see, uh, as you said, uh, Rev and Sean needed to both step up. And now look at them. They both have goals this game. Absolutely. No, it's and what CGC needs to do if they want to win this, they got to lock it down. Yep. You got you to gotta stop double committing. You can't have two guys go for the same ball. And look that at that. Just you like you were open. saying earlier, when they're on the offensive third yeah exactly all three of them are up there and none of them are on the defense quite yet Ooh, that was almost there Rev gonna get a good feed in there but no smsu member to connect with it no it looks like they both demo coming out Ooh, from there's skate, a demo, but Rona Rona keeps get it out of there good. Rona looking to follow up Ooh, just kind of tips it over touch. that was a very beautiful touch kind of a little float there i think Roner he wanted to go up a little bit earlier for that but he he got a little too forward but it didn't matter for Panda because he just got it over Panda, yeah, put it in an awkward position. It kind of looked like Panda didn't have any boost maybe to go up for it or just the flip. I think I, I think he wasn't expecting that, that, that weird little, hit from Roner, honestly. No, that was, a, that was a very beautiful offensive play by Roner. I, you know, in, in that situation, it's like the defense did what they, they were, you, you're supposed to do. It's just, man, what do you do? All of awkwardness here. coming out here in yeah, SMSU someone, third. Someone looking at has to build up speed here. Yeah, we'll try and get a good hit on it. Sean gonna Sean try and get it over, over some members of CGC. Now we're gonna be speeding up. I mean a dangerous position that might looking like it could have Roner, been a CGC yeah. goal, but Roner coming in for the save. Roner keeping it out. Looking to possibly get some demos there and get and some there it bumps, is right there. get some boost off of them. Rev contesting. <laughs> Skate's bringing Skate it over, passing it back, back to pass, Lillian. you remember there for the contest. It over. Sean, Sean here going on the back wall. He doesn't that really get it. Contest wants. Well, this is this has actually been a completely different round that we've seen from uh, CGC and uh, from SMSU. Roner! Oh my goodness! Puts Roner Puts Panda in an again. awkward, awkward position here. Doesn't quite have the car control to defend from this position. I wonder His if... His teammate thinks he has it, but... Yeah, I'm wondering if CGC is starting to get into their head a little bit right now. It could the very well be what's game, happening. The mental game right now is, is starting to wear thin a little bit. Um, you know... We, we had SMSU, they were down two goals very first round. That probably brought them up real quick, but after they went into overtime that second round, and it was a near, you know, near game. So we will be going to yeah. a two to yeah. two match now with SMSU taking the fourth yeah. game here. This is my first set of five that I think uh, I've ever commentated. So this is, this is. I think this will be for me as well. This, this will be, yeah. this will, this has been pretty fun right now. So I, I think what it is, is the whole thing's reset. It now comes down to this round, right? Mm -hmm. And CGC, you know, they had this, you know, they had the first two rounds and then like th that third round, it was like, if we get this goal, we win. I think I think I would put SMSU at the advantage for this fourth game uh -huh. or for this fifth game. Typically yeah. what I've seen from SMSU is they struggle a little bit in those first two rounds, like they're still warming up a little bit. Uh -huh. um, and then once they get rolling, once they get some good good wins. Yep, once um, they get their groove in. Yep, exactly. Rev with a good patient hit there is gonna Rev look to gonna... co-op for it again, but doesn't but Roner, connect. Roner with the backup though. So yeah, I will be interested to see on how Panda plays and I think he's in his head right now. He, he was responsible for at least the miss of three of four of those goals in the last round. Good patience so. coming out there from Roner. Sees the CGC defenders, but now CGC in a possibly yeah, dangerous were, position, yeah, but... They were looking to kind of walk that ball Yeah, in. looking to mind game SMSU a little bit there, but... 
Espes, you're not going to let it deter them. Just play it slow and steady. If you're not going to hit the ball, I'm just going to slowly walk yep. up to you yeah, and then exactly. hit it away from you when you hit it. Yeah, it, that, that seemed like an opportunity that just wasn't taken. Again, it seems like a lot of the time CGC has two people on the ball. Ooh, and they like that Panda with it. not getting the best hit there. See, I think Panda's in his head uh, a little bit. It, he was he was really good early on in play. Uh, I, I would have said he was probably is. Oh, yeah, Rev with demo. the big that demo on Panda. <laughs> yeah. Panda didn't have any boost there, so it's not going to be the worst for him. You know, when you do respawn off of a demo, you do get 33 boost. So nice contest it, by Panda. It is a Rev decent. There. In the middle. It is a decent. Uh, Runner looking to bring it back. Runner looking reset. to follow it. Oh, he's going to try and fake him out. Go for the air dribble bump. Not quite qu going to get in front of the ball enough to get it. Rev going to hit it back. It back but over. Not gonna Runner connect. going to connect. Not in high rotation. enough. Awkward Ooh, that place is... for Runner yeah, to defend. Was, and that will that be a awkward... CGC goal. And Papa Panda did make that play. So maybe he's, he's back a little bit here in that mental game. Yeah, Roner in a really awkward spot there to shadow and Panda putting in uh -huh. exactly where he needs to, right up in the upper 90 behind where Roner is positioned. You don't have as much car control in the back as you do in the front. Your boost only goes one way. Uh-huh. Rev looking to kind of follow it up here. Doesn't really that, have that, any boost, so yeah. he's just kind of, he's trying to be there for the commit. So trying there to you, keep there for the pressure. There you go again. You got two people on the ball on CGC side. I feel like that's just always a misplay. Ooh, Roner with a really good save there. Really yeah, awkward fan, position. Fantastic save by Roner. Oh, and oh, Rev he's got missing go. it there. That's an open goal for SMSU, but Sean's going to be there. But Sean whiffs that as Papa. well. Oh, it's and so it very close. And won't quite go in. <laughs> <laughs> Roner just getting it out of there. He's like, nope, it can't be over here. Very, anymore. very awkward positioning. That was that was very dangerous. Sean getting it off wall. Sean looking like he's playing a little off tonight. Not quite getting as many of those good clears as we've seen from him before. Yeah. And Rev putting a really awkward position. Skate's gonna get it right over him, and that's gonna be the second goal. As you see here, two minutes and twenty-six seconds left. That's you put in a very yeah. similar position as the second game. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking now is now now I think the mental game has again shifted. You know, it's very interesting to see how this is all kind of transpiring. Um, hits it back, but goes straight to a CGC member. So now him and Roner have to try and contest it. A little bit of a back pass there from Scoilin. So I'm not quite sure what that second yeah, I, jump was I from him. I don't know what exactly CGC is looking to do here right now. Rev getting it out of there. Not really enough given he has no Goes boost. into Roner for the Roner. infield pass, and that might just that be a goal, is. and that is. The demo kind of blocked it, so we had no idea if it was going to yeah, go in. Yeah, that demo that smoke a, could be a little a, bit of a confusing was, thing at times, but. Yeah. It looks like oh. it was a bad hit there by Loyan. It was going to go in either way. Looked like Loyan decided just, yeah, just accidentally kinda, rushed that when he he yep. had time. He, he had, had time, time if to he just slowed down his car. It. Yep. Yep. So a minute forty nine, only down by a goal. This this game is far from over. Very close game. Still anything can happen. Yeah, exactly. Rev getting into the corner. Sean, Sean gonna hit it back out to maybe Roner runner. looking to set it up. Roner gonna hit it out as well, but has to play the CGC members hit. Hits it up here for a good hit. Gonna pass it. Over to Sean, Sean here, Sean. Looking, to do something. looking awkward, not quite sure what he wants to do with it. Got a decent hit into the mid, but Roner gonna, gonna the, contest uh, that. That's my screen number back there. Over, do over with Panda. It. Looking to try to get another touch, doesn't really Just get it. Just goes for the boost steal. Couldn't get that second hit to get an infield pass, which is what he was looking to do. That is in, that is but in. Rev is gonna be oh, there. Rev? Rev wants more? Come on! <laughs> Roner, maybe. Ah. Oh. Sean doesn't so quite have close. the turn there. Does get it hit into the mid, but isn't able to follow it up. Now Roner gonna be looking for the redirect. Doesn't quite uh, find doesn't it, but it. does get oh, it wait. over some CGC members. It's gonna spill out. Spill out Roner bringing it's it. It's gonna go back right back to maybe. Roner here. Sean gonna this pass it up to him as well. Roner with a good right position. Now. Skate bringing it out though. Rev maybe to look in the contest, but he doesn't get it. Panda, open goal right Roner now. Roner on the Roner defense to get it over Roner. Sean going to be there for the save, though. Now high up in the air above the SMSU goal. 
Runner getting out. Sean, two people in back. Skate running back towards goal right now. Rev has the setup. Rev bringing it back over. There. 15 seconds left, 15 so that's you have to do something. It's do or die. Yeah, it, it, is, it is a tough situation, I think. Right now, you just get aggressive. Mm, Rev not, not quite what finding need. what he wants to find there. And that's that's you that's not managing to keep it up. That will be the CGC win for the game and the series. Yeah, that this was a this was a very fun series to watch. Um, I, I'm very I'm very excited uh, to see uh, how Red how Red Red Wolf, uh, played this game. Uh, he looks like a, a great addition to the team uh, as a sub. Yep, looks like he's got some. Uh, some ball control issues to work out, but mm -hmm. uh, all of SMSU. Sean not looking like he was playing as hottest tonight. Um, uh -huh. Might have been thrown off a little bit by the roster shifts. Not quite sure. Yep. Um, that being said, Roner was doing fantastic tonight. Yeah, I, Roner I loved all the play. By definitely Roner stepping tonight. up, mm -hmm. showing CGC that he can play with the best of them. Um, but that will actually be it for us tonight. We actually don't have any Valorant tonight, unfortunately. Um, the Valorant team did get a bye this week. So, um, pardon me if you're watching the league stream at the end and you heard me say that we had Valorant at 8.30 tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I lied to you accidentally. Yep. But thank you very much. This has been Kramagra. And this is Welcome Soul 6. And we will see you next time. The next broadcast we have will be League of Legends at 3 o'clock this coming Saturday, assuming I'm right, <laughs> which I should be. <laughs> so thank you very much. All right. See you then.